Welcome back everybody. Today we're at Sork's Steeplechase. Round 11, Rome, Georgia. Sork's 21-22 season. It's March 20th, 2022. Uh, race 11 of 13, so two more to go after this. Got Justin Daughtry to my left, Cam Morrow to my right, both in 30B class with me. Brandon Thompson is the points leader right now. I'm back and forth. Let's kick this thing off, see if we can catch up on points. Just kidding, I'm not going anywhere. Brandon Thompson, 195, points leader. Justin Daughtry with 174 right behind him. Jason McKenzie in third with 162, and I got 140 in fourth place. And Stacey Cook in front of me and Jermaine Wiley there. He's coming through the back of the pack. She's got to make a lot of moves early. Now, I think that's Wesley Cronick in front of me there in 30B in the red. here super early since I am starting with the handicap. Got Daniel Hames there in 40B in front of me with the yellow boots. This track went uh, around and then comes back up towards the spectator area, which was pretty cool. Getting a two for one there. Trying to push the push the envelope early here, make some moves. Got Brady Mills in front of me there, and then Scott Greer in all red. This is race 11 of 13, like I said earlier, so the championship is starting to wind down. Uh, things were going pretty good for me earlier in the championship, but obviously kind of fell back in the points a bit as things progressed, I think. After I raced the Mint 400, I think that might have taken the wind out of my sails for a while, and it took me a while to catch up from that. Taking a wild line here, and I should have gone left, but went right and had to hop these logs, do all this crazy stuff. They're having a total traffic jam up there, so I'm looking to see if there's a way to get around it all. This is super tight in here. It's like a national enduro kind of thing. Ryan Simmons in front of me there just got passed by Cam Morrow, I think. Or no, by Brady Mills. That's Austin Alessi right there in the pink. So I got Ryan Simmons in front of me, Preston Oys up in front of him in four stroke B class. Getting around Preston there. Not sure who that was on the KTM, but Ryan Simmons in front, Brady Mills up ahead of him. through there, a bit sketchy close to those trees. So we are getting ready for the Sorks 22-23 season, round number three coming up this weekend. Uh, this video should go out on Wednesday. Race is coming up on Sunday. Looking forward to it out there. See if I can get the 22-23 season going a bit better than this past season here. Really, like I said, faded and uh, yeah, just couldn't seem to uh, make a strong comeback. I think that's William McClure there in the orange, and then that Brady Mills getting by him. Really, just chasing Brady Mills, trying to get through traffic with him here. Looks like Cam Morrow up there in the gray. That is one of my main competitors. Got to try to get by him. Matt Welch in orange there. Looking to make a move on all of them. But life comes at you pretty fast. And next thing you know, you're 
hanging out on the ground, watching everybody that you pass, uh, pass you right back. So I got kind of cross-roaded there and it sent my front tire into that tree, bumped me off pretty hard. Uh, yeah, came through the first lap in ninth place. I mean, obviously I started in last, but Anthony Bennett is out front leading the pack. William McClure right in front of me here. Let's see if I can use that line again. Trying to use some hotlines essentially here to get by Brandon Black, but they just weren't panning out. By a few guys there, but I think that was uh, Byron Williams. He was looking the other direction as I came by, so it was a little sketchy. Get by Matt Parker there, 48 class. Not sure who that is in front of me there. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like seeing these videos, doing the whole season and the new upcoming season. And I like to fall sometimes, so that can be entertaining to watch. And hit the little bell if you want to get updates whenever I put out new videos. I'm trying to put them out every week around Wednesday right now. So that's my schedule and I'm trying to stick to it. Brandon Allen up front of me there at 30B with me. Making a little uh, rendezvous with the tree there easy for me. Got Cam Morrow to the left, Ryan Simmons to the right. Kind of squeezed it in on Ryan Simmons there. I think I made that a little tighter than he was expecting. Andrew's trying to get me to go to the left. I think there's a jump to the left, but I, I wasn't really paying much attention. Coming around lap two, I'm up to sixth place, so moved up a few positions. Cam Morrow's up. Corey Morrow, he's up a uh, spot two. So, yeah, working our way up through the pack, see how far we can get. There's Cam Morrow off in the uh, trees, just hanging out. Obviously had a little difficulty. So this time taking a left here, see what it's all about. Got a little, little ravine jump. Gnarly tight. Need a pit bike for this. Some sweet uh, rutted up roots. Chris McCraw in front of me there, 45A class. I don't usually run into him out there. I don't know what was going on. Dude's got the retro gear on. I'm not sure who that was. Moro's still right behind me, and I think for some reason I decided it would be a good idea to just let him pass me. I have no idea why I did that. I could not tell you. Come through lap three. Obviously, I'm down a spot. Well, actually, I'm not because I passed him and then let him back by me, but grabbing some water there. had stopped for one or two and now I just let him buy me again so that was awkward when you watch that little ravine there on video it makes you think you could hop it but I don't know it would have worked out very well if you tried to do that This is an epic battle for fifth place. Oh my goodness, I passed him. It's all right though, I'm sure I'll just casually let him pat back by me in a minute here. There's Lance Patterson just lollygagging around. I don't know what he's up to. I'm looking back like, oh, maybe I should let him back by me. Lap four. Oh, I've advanced the position. We're the only ones that have moved positions, so everyone else is staying exactly where they're at. Anthony Bennett's still running out front. 
Got a rider down here. I'm not sure who that is or what happened, but I hope he was all right. It's been a while now. I'm sure he's healed up. Carson Hall there, 250 FB class. Just hanging out. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, just let Cam back by. That should work. That should be make things way better. I have no idea why I was doing that. There was something wrong with me. Not sure who that was in Dubai, but uh, then I decided to take some more dirt samples and kind of let things happen. So that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Came around for lap five and sixth place, finished the race there. No one else, again, has really moved positions. A little bit back in 10th, I guess, but not doing myself any favors. Uh, still in fourth with 155, but Anthony Bennett right behind me with 150 and Brandon Thompson way out front with 204. Let's try to pump this thing up in round 12. I'll see you.